What's up guys? It is Lexi and Sarah here, your Earthy Sisters, and today we are going to talk to you about how to recycle, um, how not to recycle, and um, some of the benefits of recycling and then some of the uh, not so great sides to recycling. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel for awesome tips on how to save our Earth. So um, just to mention, we are talking about recycling in Halton. Different regions have different recycling rules. So just keep that in mind. You always should check with your um, region online to see what their recycling rules and regulations are. But one of the big things about recycling is a lot of the time we think everything we put in that recycling bin actually gets recycled, but this is not true. In fact, only 9% of what goes in the recycling bin is actually recycled. That is really low. Mm -hmm. So you're saying for every 10 pieces of recycling that I put into my blue bin, only less than one technically mm -hmm. gets recycled. Yeah. Okay, that's not good. No. <laughs> I just actually thought about yeah. that number. That's yeah. really bad. Because it was 11% and right. now they're saying it's 9%. Right, right. So. And that's in all of Canada. I was reading that in Ontario, we have a really bad recycling problem. We have access to a recycling program, but the amount of waste or recyclable material that is sent to the waste management site is just too overwhelming and they can't handle it. <laughs> so there is about 3.2 million tons of plastic that gets sent to um, the recycling plant and 2.8 million tons actually goes to the landfill. So whatever right. that math is, that is 500. <laughs> it's 500,000 <laughs> tons of the 3.2 million that is sent to, mm -hmm. um, to be recycled actually gets recycled. Yeah. So that is uh, really low. Uh, we, we don't have the proper equipment to take care of everything that needs to be recycled and there is so much like every I didn't really realize like how clean everything needs to mm -hmm. be for, for actually to be able to be recycled so if you are throwing out or recycling a can of beans that can needs to be washed mm -hmm. so you as the consumer yeah. have to actually do that yourself in order for it to be recycled yeah, so I think that there's a lack of knowledge and so when we are tossing dirty stuff into the recycling bin, all of that is just then going right to the landfill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like one more step I think that people A, don't realize that they have mm -hmm. to take and B, if they do realize it, they don't care to take. Yeah. I also think getting out of that mindset of, well, it's recyclable so it's fine. Really, we want to think about things that we can reuse um, more than once and that aren't just that one time thing that we're using and then thinking, oh, it's fine, it can be recycled mm -hmm. because it probably isn't getting recycled. Yeah. yeah, I know. So, you know, we have this triangle of like reduce, reuse, recycle. And I think for so long, at least the, um, the media that I've seen in regards to the Blue Box program mm -hmm. in Ontario is uh, that it's mostly focused on recycling. Yeah. And I think that we've kind of switched our mindsets. That's like, oh, if it goes in the blue box, you're right. It just, it goes yeah. away. They're gonna recycle it. Everything gets recycled, but that's not the case. Um, so some tips for you guys to increase the amount of stuff that you send to the recycling plant that actually gets recycled. Um, like we already talked about, you know, mm -hmm. rinsing out your cans, taking the labels off is super important too. Just, it's like another step in washing your dishes yeah. and it really doesn't take a long time, but you know, this is like a tin can, right? It's made of tin. Yeah. Okay. Tin. <laughs> aluminum. <laughs> aluminum. 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 <laughs> right? Like these are metals that literally are coming out of the mm -hmm. earth. And so this is something that they can recycle really easily, but when we don't do our part on the consumer end, they can't recycle it. Yeah. And two, like, you know, we want to reduce our, uh, our 
usage of natural resources at the rate that we are mm -hmm. and when we're you know i buy a lot of canned stuff because i think it's better than buying plastic also we live mm -hmm. in canada so we can't get all the foods that we want to enjoy year round and so canning is a really great thing yeah. um but it does take you know tin, aluminum or tin whatever it is out of the earth and so being able to send that back and have it be reused is super important like i know for me one thing that i've been doing is when i have something that needs to go in the recycling bin if it's finished it goes in the sink with my dishes so that way when i'm mm -hmm. doing dishes i just get in the habit of okay i need to wash this just like i would a dish and then it's going to my recycling bin yeah and another thing too uh just to make it like easier and to increase the likelihood of your stuff getting recycled separating your recycling is a huge thing too mm -hmm. so you know having our paper products uh in one box or one bag and then um having you know our, our cans and whatnot yes. plastic glass in the other um making sure that there's no grease on anything and then also like sarah said to you know reusing something before you send it to uh the recycling or the landfill even yeah. um you know if there's a way that you can you know extend the lice light <laughs> extend the lice <laughs> <laughs> extend the life of um of that product of that packaging then definitely try and do that mm -hmm. and i think kind of just going back to that whole recycling process um we've talked about this before but it is important to know that um with plastic especially things are only ever down cycled so mm -hmm. there's different types of plastics there's ones that are better um, ones that are worse so those better plastics once they do get recycled they will never be that same grade of plastic they can only keep going down and down and down so it's important. so basically like going from like a plastic bottle that's mm -hmm. like that harder plastic to like down cycled to like a plastic bag yeah or something or yeah like pellets or yeah okay exactly so um just something to keep in mind too if you are buying something in plastic looking at you'll see that plastics all have that little number in a triangle so you can actually look up what that number means and see if you are buying that better grade of plastic or if you're buying the lower grade mm, yeah okay final thoughts because i don't want this video to be too long <laughs> um so when we're thinking about recycling guys make sure that you're putting the proper recycling uh, materials into the bin trying to separate them make sure that they're clean cut out the grease all that good stuff and then another thing too is to realize you know when we're talking about these big millions of tons of recyclable material mm -hmm. that's not getting recycled the stuff that's not getting recycled has to go somewhere I'm sure you've seen in the media, like they are sending back these um, like shipping containers full of garbage, whatever. You know, this has this stuff has to go somewhere. And so at the end of the day, you still need to reduce yeah. what you're using and really thinking about minimal packaging, reusable packaging, all that kind of stuff is really important. But we do appreciate and love the fact that this um, world and our society does have a great recycling system. We also want to try to not contribute to that and make it too overwhelming for the system because they yeah. just can't handle everything that we're giving yeah. them right now. Um, so we are going to attach the link for the Halton Recycling, the put waste in its place page. So you can actually go there and look and see what goes in the green bin, what goes in your blue bin, what goes in the garbage. Um, so you can check your products first, make sure you're putting them in the right place because that's a really great place to start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, just making sure that you know exactly what you're putting in the recycling bin, giving it the best shot that it's got to actually get recycled. So yeah, check out the page um, that we'll put in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on the gram, <laughs> at earthy.sisters. Um, yeah. <laughs> Is that Thanks. it? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks. <laughs>